what is going on cancer welcome or welcome back to the channel it is me to country water intuition back with another cancer reading for the collective please do keep in mind these messages are general so they may or may not resonate for everyone's circumstance <clears throat> in the event you guys find that these messages are resonating that's always wonderful definitely feel free to share down below in the comments also give this video a thumbs up i would greatly appreciate that for those of you who find that these messages do not resonate that is okay as well feel free to check out another message on the channel hopefully you're able to find one that does resonate but if that is still unhelpful i thank you so very much for stopping by and i'm sending love and light out to you all any other information you guys need is listed down below in the description box. Please don't forget to check out the Each One Reach One. I have a link here, you guys. It has every link. <laughs> and the fundraiser is linked here. Please don't forget to support for those of you who can. Oh, also, if you guys are interested in booking personal readings, that information is down below in the description box also. And you can find more information on the community tab. All right, Spirit, what do we have? What do we have for my cancer? Okay, so the overall energy is rest and rejuvenation. Let's see, do I need to turn up the brightness just a little bit? Rest and rejuvenation here. <clears throat> what is this, number 19? January 9th could be significant for some of you guys. Maybe this is um, peace. Spirit is telling you to have some peace in your mind surrounding a circumstance, okay? Um, balance is going, this is the energy that's coming towards you with the yin and the yang. Number 22, master number 22, right? Two, the twos are all about alignment. I feel like Spirit is wanting you to overall have some form of peace balance in your emotions when it comes to a circumstance some of you guys could be laying to rest a loved one some of you guys could be reflecting on the passing of a loved one like the anniversary others of you this is reminding me of the four of swords so it can represent a breakup as well the current energy is the community card so support there is support coming in towards you number seven once again we're in this seven year july 22nd july 19th july 3rd march 7th march 22nd and march 19th could all resonate for you guys some type of way. I feel spirit wants you to know that there is abundance blossoming around you. There is an energy of like a new beginning. This is making me think of like early mornings too. Some of you guys could be waking up really early in the morning like 3 a.m. 3.22 could resonate like time wise maybe somebody is waking up at 322 or 319 I don't know take it how it resonates let's go under here we got strategy we got journey so we got you having to some of you guys are traveling here for sure 
with the journey and the strategy. The strategy card has this map on it with the compass. Others of you, I feel like this is about just being very strategic when it comes to your journey, when it comes to your thought process here with the thinking man, number 46. Some of you guys, this is someone who is thinking about you. Others of you, I feel like it's about you controlling your thoughts. I feel like Spirit is saying along your journey. Okay. Along your journey, you have possibly encountered many things that required strategy, required um, regrouping, a game plan. Um, it's making me think of the Seven of Swords, even uh, energy, even. So that can represent some sort of betrayals, just things that aren't pretty, right, along this journey. And things have always worked out just fine. This is what you're needing to be relaxed about in your mind. Some of you guys, this is about the journey of someone, like, to the other side. Um, knowing that this loved one is near. That's that community energy as well, giving ancestors paying uh, respects to your ancestors and things of that nature here. Some of you guys, there could be a matter of distance when it comes to connecting to someone maybe you have friends but those friends are at a distance or you have family but the family is at a distance you have maybe even a relationship like romantic relationship but it's at a distance so there's still this aspect of you having to be able to once again gather your thoughts Maybe, let's say, if it's anything you're wanting to work on in this time, strategy also makes me think of work. That's the journey you're, sh you're supposed to be focused on, bringing some sort of balance. Some of y'all could be thinking finance. This is making me think of the Ace of Pentacles. Um, it makes me think of the Ace of Pentacles, but it could be more like Three of Pentacles, being that it does have the number three on it. And it does give earth energy. So it's all about community building, building yourself up, building up some sort of balance within your own life. That has been your journey. That is this path that you're on. And that is where your focus is needing to lie. You see how this person is focused on these crystals, which is still earth energy. So pentacles. Focused on your business. Mm. Walking away from things that are not serving you, that, that just don't fit the bill. Once again, energy of moving away or distance. Number 27. And woman holding the coin. Some of you guys are... Thinking about moving, you could be gathering your finances about moving or this is about focusing on some sort of vacation, trip. This could be work related. Others of you, it could be related to something else. It's been a while since I've used this deck. to take are, are possibly taking some time out for yourself with this resonance information. Some of y'all could be feeling like someone is ghosting you or you're ghosting someone. January 22nd could also be significant. What's the blossoming abundance? Queen of Wands. What else? The page.
Eight of Wands was community. Three of Wands. Ace of Wands. There's a brand new opportunity coming towards you. Some of y'all, this might be an opportunity to relocate, an opportunity to take a job at a business, the opportunity to even change jobs, right? This could be a work opportunity for some of you. Some of y'all might have to drive a little bit further away from your home for this opportunity. What's this yin and yang? Some of y'all have a romantic partner that's at a distance. The four of wands could represent a relationship here too. What's this yin and yang? And the empress could be a wife. Could be the mother of a child. Maybe you guys have a child or children. The moon could also speak to children, pregnancy. Some of you guys could be like on your cycle um, during this time or coming on. Some of y'all, uh, somebody could knock your cycle on. If you have sexual intercourse with this person and for some that that resonates for, uh, this is a sign that that person is not your person. Okay. Um, they are not supposed to be entering your womb. That's like a red flag. So take that as it may, as you may. Some of you guys, I feel like someone is dreaming of you, of sexual intercourse with you. Let's go under the moon real quick. The Six of Wands and the Page of Cups. This could also represent some sort of apology coming your way or once again some good news. The Queen of Swords energy is also here at the bottom and this can be some communication coming in towards you. Maybe this is some communication you've been waiting to hear. Some information coming your way. Um, this could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You don't see this victory, but this something is definitely uh, being decided. I'm also here in your favor or something like something along those lines. The Queen of Swords could also be you in the sense that someone could be wanting to talk to you. Maybe someone wants to apologize. This could just be some communication coming in. But as the Page of Cups, it's not very much. It's not really. It's like maybe somebody trying to ease their ego. Make themselves feel like they still got a hold on you or something like that. Someone just trying to test the waters to see. Would you still respond? Would you say anything? Or have you moved on, basically? Um, because for some of y'all, maybe somebody is wondering what the hell is going on with you. Maybe you've gone silent with the moon. Some of you guys are just working through your own emotions with the moon. Dealing with your own personal issues. And you might feel like these are things that you have to deal with, come to grips with, and have some sort of success when it comes to dealing with these things on your own. See how this person is by themselves? It's like anytime you win, it's always because you're doing some shit on your own, right? Uh, the Page of Cups could represent maybe you feel like this person is just a friend. You don't want to burden your friend with your issues. Or maybe Page of Cups, this is somebody who is even less than a damn friend. But maybe you still deal with this person for some reason as well. Maybe this is some reason per connected to even your ego with this being Wands energy with the Six of Wands, right? I 
either way there is it's, it's like a maybe you're not as trusting of this page of cups person to open up this could even be friends with benefits or something that was that you judge as a friends with benefits type of situation. And so, yeah, it's like, I don't see you really, if this is someone reaching out to you, I don't see you really opening up too much to, in, to whomever this person is. You could also feel like this person is secretive with the moon. You know, like I, I think I mentioned in another reading that um, someone could be wanting to know all the information about you, but they don't say much about themselves. So Spirit could be saying that you're needing to either watch what you're saying to someone or you already are. Some of y'all, there could also be some sort of third party situation. Like I said, we got the number three on this blossoming abundance and the community card here. And once again, the Empress is definitely on the board. Some of y'all could be making a purchase for some new vitamins. Somebody could be buying fruit, eating more fruit and vegetables, things of that nature. Just taking your overall health in more consideration is what this is giving also. Some of you guys, I feel like this is also spirit saying that things are balancing out and you're going to be okay. Like you're this empress with the four of wands. Everything is all well. Your stability, your foundation is there and there is balance here. So if there is an underlying issue, energy of fear on your behalf in regards to something um, that could have been or could be disturbing you on an emotional level with the Page of Cups, Spirit is saying that you're going to have victory and success over the situation. This is some sort of good news that's going to be coming your way that you will be uh, also getting knowledge of, hearing about, as I said before. Uh, the Five of Pentacles can represent just still dealing with some form of loss. It could also be what you're, once again, what you're thinking and feeling is lost. Feeling worried that you don't have enough. But Spirit is saying what you don't know and don't see, but you soon will have knowledge of, is that things are alright, basically. I also feel like there is a new opportunity somewhere for some of you that's at a distance. Now, some of y'all, this is an opportunity when it comes to work. Some of you guys, this is an opportunity when it comes to like your home. Others of you, this could be um, a relationship. I feel like this is also someone making some effort. Maybe someone is stepping up their effort towards you. Like someone is moving closer towards you. If you feel like, like right now, this could be five of pentacles. You don't have any options in love. That's only because you don't know about those options yet for some. Others of you, like I said, it could be distance or something like that. But what you don't see is some sort, something is turning in your favor. There's a judgment here in your favor. But I feel like this is something you've been waiting on. All right, let's clarify, y'all. I feel like I'm I'm repeating myself. Now, did I go under the bottom of this deck? Yes, I did. Give me a second with that one, y'all. Going to 
the blossom in the Community and yin and yang. What's blossom in abundance? Got the main female energy. What about community? Imprisonment and yin and yang. Some of y'all could be connecting with someone that is behind bars. Often and concern. Yeah, y'all are definitely. I knew it was some stress here. That's where that five of pentacles is coming from. And others of you, this is definitely in regards to a uh, passing. Um, preparations for a, pa a funeral with the coffin being here or as i said before like a reflecting type of energy when it comes to a loved one we got 19 here then so 1919 for some reason that could resonate for some of y'all we also have 29 here with this imprisonment somebody feels stuck in a relationship or stuck in a contract Or, once again, stuck in the sense of, like, literally being behind bars. For some of you, that, that could be something that is preventing a relationship from reaching the fullest potential that there is. Some of y'all might even be debating, should you even keep investing in this relationship, in this connection? Some of y'all, this is a situation where you already know, like, somebody is locked down, child, with the imprisonment. It ain't even about... You know, imprisonment. It's just that this person locked down. They're in a relationship. Three of them, pencil, three of uh, the community card is like a family. It's like having the four wands there. And some of you guys already know this. So it's like you might as well just move on to something for yourself. What's the purpose of, right, dealing with someone that's already locked down or being held down by like this main female could be an Aries Leo Sag because we got the Queen of Wands here also clarifying this okay number two yeah it's like somebody already growing a family blossoming abundance in this damn relationship but yet they look trying to communicate even looking at the Queen of Wands as a mistress Trying to communicate with this Queen of Wands outside of the situation. Knowing damn well with the imprisonment, they ain't doing nothing. They can't do nothing. Um, it's no way for anything to even happen. But for some reason, this is still giving this person a hard on. Giving this person some excitement. Giving this person something when it comes to their ego they feel good about themselves and for some of y'all this is a situation you're gonna have to put an end to with this coffin because if not this person is going to continue to use you and drain you of your energy honey without giving anything in return and that's another thing i see this five of pentacles as this person is not going to be able to give or nor is willing to give you anything in return that's something you're going to have to realize Okay, there's still Page of Cups. They're showing up as a Page of Cups. So, your victory and success would be in moving away. Some of y'all are unsure about this. Others of you already know this. I feel like for some of y'all, this person feels when you are detaching your energy from them. And that's whenever they try to show concern. That's when they try to reach out to you and reel you back in. Number 33 could also be significant. I'm going to just leave this down here. Underneath this concern, though, we look, somebody in a whole family, child, yeah, they worried about your ass. Or worried about something they ain't got no business worried about being worried about others of you are, are worried about something concerning a family 
and some sort of message of concern, um, news of something pertaining a family that is deeply bothering you, maybe even if it's in the backs of your mind with the moon, like subconsciously speaking. Some of you though, there is some sort of great fortune that's coming your way. This could also be a wheel for some of y'all. This could be something, message of concern as well. Some of y'all could be finding out about something pertaining to finances. This could be some sort of contract, documentation, wheel, as I said before. Um, inheritance. Um, others of you, I just feel like there is a, and a, if you are worried about something with the message of concern pertaining to a family situation, um, that financial card or the great fortune card is giving ace of pentacles. There's a brand new opportunity coming your way. In work, some of y'all, this is even in love. If you've been fearing, like, feeling, oh, I don't know if I'm ever going to find the type of relationship that I want. And that's what's got you feeling kind of stuck, stagnant. Spirit is like, just have faith. Okay? Be at, uh, at peace with knowing that the right circumstance is going to come your way in the right time. All right, let's get something on the page of wands. Wow, the three of freaking pentacles. I called that from the jump. is definitely lying to someone though but someone knows this with the sun Leo energy could also be significant for some of you guys as well some of y'all could be in a relationship a marriage with a Leo um, some of y'all, this main female could be finding out about a mistress. Maybe this is something that you've known about in the past. Uh, some of y'all, this could even be something, it's like this situation is coming back up again. You're finding out somebody is talking to someone from their past. Maybe a mistress that they had before they're they're now talking to again somebody is finding out about this now why am i feeling like um uh, what was i about to say why am i feeling like oh like someone going through someone's phone or something someone is finding shining light on some messages with the page of cups remember that page that that message of concern yeah, and somebody is concerned about this. Mm-hmm. Look, they, they reading messages. Reading something. Come on. See what I'm saying? Some of y'all, this could also be like if you're wondering why you haven't heard from someone, it could be because of this. And they have to cease communication. This could have been like an ultimatum given to someone. Also, I'm seeing um, for some of you guys, let's say this is something related to like a, a job circumstance or something practical in your life here. You could receive, you could have received some sort of message of concern in regards to a family member, a loved one, in regards to a family situation, something along those lines, as I also a contract as well, I'm kind of getting. And this is something you're aware of. Spirit could be saying with the sun, have faith in a situation, um, be confident. 
Maybe you had faith. There was some confidence here. What's the three of wands? Some of you guys are, are decided to. It's like maybe you came to a realization that you're needing to be optimistic about leaving a job. Some of y'all, that's what you've been having a hard time with, moving on away from something. Some of y'all are afraid that someone is going to, like, abandon you, reject you. Maybe this is because you've been through this before in the past. This person could be sending you a message of concern in the sense of showing you that they are concerned about you they really do care um they are extending some sort of offer to you possibly even to prove because the, the fool is like they're going to take a leap of faith to like anything that's got you feeling blocked have you feeling like i don't know i don't know if i can trust this person i don't know if i should open up to this person i don't know if you know, like I was talking about in the previous read, when you think that you've healed and then you meet someone and you start to realize, oh shit, there's still some things that have me very closed off, apprehensive, or like things that I have to deal with mentally speaking, just to keep myself in a calm energy, <laughs> okay? Uh, so that you're not overthinking a circumstance and things of that nature because this imprisonment can give the eight of swords energy. So it's like this person is taking a leap of faith and they're just they're just doing it with the ace of wands. This is even giving like extending some sort of olive branch, um, a, a gesture being made out of kindness. Even remember we did see the page, yeah, the page of cups here right okay with the page of cups energy um and someone is trying to make you a believer some of y'all this is some someone at a distance some of you guys could also have someone like visiting a surprise visit with the fool and the ace of wands or planning like a surprise trip or celebration because the community car up top is making me think of a celebration some of you this is a celebration like this is you like three of cups celebrating some sort of victory that you don't even see because you trapped in your mind thinking the worst case scenario and what I feel you're needing to do is get your mind on lock Because some of you feel stuck. You can't see how something is going to work in your favor. But I feel like with the Three of Wands, it's saying that it might be a delay. But it's, it, the Ace of Wands says that it's definitely on its way. Okay? And you will have this victory and success. Once again, that's something you don't see. I'm also hearing the moonology deck so maybe i should pull from that as well but i was hurt you and your loved ones are safe or something like that all right what's the full i'm sorry the empress what's the empress would definitely cheat this could be a Sagittarius I just saw the temperance uh, don't have to be we also got the lovers with Gemini energy some of y'all this is also as I was saying someone who is taking action to ease your mind to show you that this is more than just 
a fling. It's more than just this. Lovers, like a physical attraction. This person wants something stable with the Four of Wands energy. Also, Spirit wants you to know with the lovers, this is some sort of contract that with the King of Wands, this could be a business establishment, a job. Uh, the Empress is saying that you're still in some sort of contract or you will be in a contract. Like for those of you who are looking for a job, this could be your contract with a new job here. Putting an end to your end to your end of employment or whatnot. Um, some of y'all, this could be a Gemini with the lovers here. The Ten of Cups is definitely something good happening. Um, some good news coming your way. Something that gives you more hope when it comes to this Ten of Cups energy. Okay? Others of you... Some of y'all, this is someone who is like really attracted to you. I kind of feel a, a energy of someone who is either putting an end to a karmic relationship or a sexual connection because they're in a relationship or putting an end to a, a relationship to be in this. Um, maybe they feel they're in a relationship with a karmic. Take it how it resonates. But something for you guys, it's like the Ten of Cups. So this is something good for you. Either this is someone coming towards you or you moving towards something that you want and away from something you don't want. I mean, ultimately, that's what it's about. You're moving away from something you don't, you don't want and you're moving towards something you do want. And that's just going to make things be known for what it is, right? Whatever it is that you don't want, that's going to let that person know you don't want them. And whatever you do want, that's going to let them know that that's what you want, period, okay? Underneath the Ten of Cups, we got the Ace of Eight of Wands, which can represent some travel here that you're happy about. This can represent a new beginning. This could also be, once again, some communication. Maybe someone visiting you, you visiting someone, um, communicating with someone at a distance, maybe a family member, um, a husband, a wife. Some of y'all, this could be your husband or wife coming home or your uh, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever the case may be. Yeah, Knight of Swords. And you're about to receive communication of this. It's coming in rather quickly. Others of you, this could be um, even moving really quickly or information that comes in like some sort of financial blessing because we did see the great fortune right here. That comes in really quickly. Child, some of y'all about to be in a relationship real quick. Out the blue. And the reason I said that is because the freaking courtship card. Some of y'all about to be in your dream relationship. I just heard. Like with the person of your dreams. And spirit is like, when this comes in, you might not see it right now. And it could be on delay for some of y'all, right? Um, because it's still something you're trying to work through with this imprisonment being here before this person come in. But when they come in, it could be a Pisces for some of y'all, Leo for others, Gemini, um, but don't have to be. Either way, this is something that is going to be like uh, your dreams come true. Uh, some of you guys, as I said before, this could even be like a dream home or something along those lines, job. But for a lot of you, I feel like this is a relationship. And spirit is like, when it comes in, take a leap of faith on it. You're going to be concerned. You're going to have fears. You're going to have apprehensions. You're going to have triggers. There will be doubt. You might even have trust issues surface, but it's like with the two of swords, you don't know what to do, 
because you're you're overthinking the situation there's once again these trust issues here with the moon you might be fearing getting hurt heartbroken things of that nature but spirit says take a leap of faith i feel like this person is doing something that makes you open up that puts you in an energy of trusting them more to open up yourself to the idea of you know getting into a relationship for my cancers those are you guys' messages if these messages resonated definitely give this video a thumbs up oh i did say huh, i forgot but i was reminded just that quick I feel like someone is like thinking about you concerned like showing that they're concerned someone reads something finds something out with this message of concern and it's like they're extending something to you someone is showing their concern for you in a time of need it looks like for some of y'all what's this um main female like if it's a romantic situation this for you need this person to help you in a sense it's like Knowing that you have an overactive mind, you overthink. So how can I help your mind um, so that you don't think the worst case scenario, right? Or so that you don't overthink so much. A new romantic cycle. So you guys could have Venus in Libra. Or you could be connecting with someone with Libra in their chart. Child, are we going to focus? Finally, bro, like a wit. Um, somebody needs some glasses. All right. The way that, that uh, lens was acting just now, somebody needs some new glasses. Somebody needs glasses. Uh, somebody need to go, like, make a doctor's appointment. That's another way I'm seeing this three of pentacles here. Um, some of y'all about to definitely be in a new romantic cycle, a relationship, new moon in Libra. Somebody could be a moon in Libra. That could be significant. What else? Your dreams need a practical plan. So, something about this Taurus energy, maybe you guys are needing to get onto a routine. Maybe this is about being more disciplined, more fixed in your energy, fixed in your thoughts. Your dreams need a practical plan. Moon and Taurus could also be significant for some of you. So, y'all could be connecting with the Taurus. I feel like you guys are very stressed out about something and you, being that this is saying there's a dream here for something to maybe even turn in your favor here. You're definitely having to be very practical and logical about even your expectations or how to meet your goal, even if this Ace of Wands is a goal, right? Some of y'all, somebody else could be more practical minded. Some of y'all, that could also be a thing here. Somebody is concerned because they feel like either you're, you're very spiritual or not practical enough for them. Some of y'all, I'm going to say, if, if that's the case, so what, okay? That just means that you, you're not supposed to be together. You're two different types of individuals, okay? Because um, sometimes people think that you got to be super practical about the things that you want with your dreams. But if you're being very too practical about things, 
you will talk yourself out of shit, okay? And that's where that Eight of Pentacles, I'm sorry, that Eight of Swords or Imprisonment energy is coming from. So sometimes, once again, you got to be open to the divine. You got to be open to spirit. That's where the fool energy is coming into play. Some of y'all are probably being too practical about your dreams. And spirit is like, can you tap into the spiritual? Can you have some faith? Can you step out on faith in this time? Yeah, just because this has happened in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen again. Just because... Uh, whatever it is that you could be feeling blocked or once again this energy if you resonate with this spirit is just wanting you to have a little bit more faith stop allowing your emotions to run high and put it in the, the hands of the divine last but not least don't let your pride get in your way your ego is what blocks you from standing in the energy of faith that's the strength card the spirit when you walk in spirit that is really where your strength lies but your ego will have you thinking that you gotta walk in ego to be strong and walking in spirit is weak and when, that's why our spirit has to be able to tame the ego, tame the flesh. Um, somebody is also needing some strength. Somebody needs some courage in this time. Don't let pride get in your way. Moon and Leo could also resonate for some of you guys. Okay. Some of y'all, this is about not holding on to something out of your ego, out of pride, okay? And Spirit says, look, it's on your side, and I'm going to end on that. I'm going to put that in the title, possibly. My lovely Cancers, those are you guys' messages. I also feel like if we freaking focus, some of y'all about to be shot by Cupid. Um, those are your messages. If these messages resonated, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Also, feel free to uh, share down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for those of you who have been sending me donations. Those of y'all who have continued to send donations to you, girl. I appreciate y'all so very much because you don't understand how much that is helping me just reach my goal to do what I need to do. Um, and thank you because it makes me feel thought of, okay? Um... I love y'all, I appreciate y'all, and I'm going to catch y'all in, in the next one. Until then, take care of my cancers.